I've recently joined a gym. Yeah, and I can see by my body language that it's uh, <clears throat> boop one, cut zero. So I thought, hey, you know, let's, uh, let's sign up to, to something a little more constructive than just a good diet. So I went to the gym. And I mean, when I say I go to the gym, I mean, I actually go. I don't just walk through the turnstile and swipe my card and then go back out again for the points. No, no, no. I actually go to the gym. And I don't know if you noticed, there's just that music in the gym. Okay? Every gym in the world has that music. You know which music I'm talking about? Isn't it? It's like dance music all the time. They keep you going like this. Because if you played Celine Dion, you fucking fall asleep, right? So like, they have that energy going all the time. Let's, let's start off with the smell in the gym. Okay? We need to approach this now. There's a smell in, if, no matter where you are in the world, there's the same smell in the gym. It's like a combination of unwashed ass, knickknacks, and chlorine. You know? Makes your face, your face go like that. And I don't know about the people that work out in the gym as well. There's a certain kind of person that works out in the gym. Maybe check, they use language like me and you, normal people like us, we don't understand. I was there the other day, and a guy chewed me, Ah, oh, bro, will you spot me, eh? Spot me. I was like, yeah, I sp spotted you when you came in the door, bro. What you mean? Mm -hmm. And then there's that instructor as well. The instructor that's from Benoni, but sounds like Arnold, because they've got bigger muscles than normal. You know the guy. And that one big bouncing vein at the side of his neck that's just not Christian, you know what I mean? I'm just saying. And um, I don't know if the rest of you feel the same way I do about the gym, but it's a very intimidating place for normal people. I don't fit in comfortably. I don't like the music they play there. But you can't choose the music at the water bar. They don't like that, you know? So I just don't like the vibe. And then they work out in, like I said, in little groups. And then there's that instructor. And I swear, the guy that helped me out the last time was making up names of muscles, bro. Yeah, I promise, he says, uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to help you work on your apozoids, your trapezoids, and your backazoids. <laughs> and I was like, I'm fucking sure there's no such zoids, bro. I work those zoids, I'm just saying. So I started out and I worked out. I wish we tried a spinning class. If you spinning class? For those of you who haven't been, let me explain it to you. It's like a class full of bicycles, like an Oscar Pistorius bicycle. Is it too soon to talk about them like that? No, fuck it, he's in jail for a long time. That's safe, no? It's like, it's, it's missing the back wheel. And if you check, they put you on this bicycle that goes nowhere. You cycle your guava off, my bro. You don't move. And they put all kinds of goodness on you to check your heart rate and stuff. And, and if you check, there's always this certain kind of woman that runs a class like that. You know that, that type? Perfect princess type with the tightest bum you've ever seen in your life. And she's working that bicycle like it's an ex-husband's credit card, my bruce. And the whole class is going like that, off the bicycle, off the saddle, back down on the saddle, off the saddle, back down on the saddle. Have you checked that? Have you seen that spinning class? Off the saddle, back down on the saddle, off the saddle, back down on the saddle. I'm like, all right, cool, so I'm in there too. I'm in the saddle, off the saddle, back in the saddle. Like, this is going on for about 15 minutes. 15 minutes of this. I am sweating like Julius Malema at the woodwork exam. I'm hoing it. I am cycling my dingers off. Do you know what this goose says? 15 minutes into it. Okay, now that we're done with the warm up. Warm up? I'm thinking, lady, I got a lung hanging out my head here. What do you mean, warm up? When the whole class is still going like that. And they got other things at the gym as well. They've got yoga at the gym. Now, I don't know if you've been to the yoga class. The, the whole gym has always got that same kind of music I mentioned all the time. Except for the yoga class. Except there. Over there, they've got the sounds of whales pumping. Have you heard? Somewhere in the bay, there's a way to go, eh? Whales pumping. All right. And they all have accents like that. All right. Welcome to yoga. I'm like, are we over here? All right. Welcome to Yoga 101. It's so nice to have you in the class. And then they use words that normal people like me and you don't understand, eh? They go, all right. Everybody, 
Find your central chakra. Huh? Hmm. I'm like, uh, I'm sorry, I forgot my chakra at home today. Can I, can I borrow a chakra from somebody? Anybody, just chakra, no. Before I go any further, I also need to point out that us, uh, us colored people are a little different. I don't know if you noticed, yeah. Um, do you know that we are the next step in evolution? That's right, bro. Human 2.0. Soon enough, in the next 100 years, the whole world's gonna be colored, bro. Yeah, people will meet and they'll make colored people all over the world. There's a couple of things you gotta look out for, colored people. If you noticed, in this Human 2.0, there's one small little flaw. We, we're born without one kneecap. Have you checked that? There's always a walk like this. Because there's no kneecap on the one side. I'm just saying, all right? So, there we are. Do you know that they have a virgin active in Mitchell's plane as well? <laughs> Don't judge, bro. They do. I was there the other day uh, for a meeting. Long story. As one does in Mitchell's plane. And I managed to observe a um, aqua aerobics class that was going down. You guys into aqua aerobics? Don't worry, me neither. And... Uh, <clears throat> I was watching an aqua aerobics class go down there and there was like 48 colored chicks in a pool. Now I've got something to say about that. I've got a statement to make about that. Shower caps are not swimming caps. They're not the same thing, my bro. There was like 47 shower caps and one shop right chicka's bag right, right at the back there. In fact, the instructor was from Bredasdorp in the Western Cape. That's right, because there was a bray on every R. One, two, three, and stretch and breathe, and stretch and breathe. One, two, three. I said, can we please buy this brown R? I will save some money and I'll give him an R. And do you know that they've got a machine at the Virgin Active in Mitchell's plane? They've got a machine exclusively for colored people. Jen, and you, you turn it on and the one side goes faster than the other. It's called a roll machine. And that's all my time. I've been Kurt Skunrod and you guys have been great.